good morning or good afternoon or evening so today i'm gonna make a video about seeing a couple of places in warsaw poland just to have a small tour and i'll showcase my bike maybe this is basically uh maybe a trial video i can say so most of it is going to be trying this this new format such as maybe like a vlog type of you can say today i'm riding a, a tcr it's a giant tcr advance 2015 model let me show you the bike of today is giant tcr advance i believe it's 2015 model but i might be wrong it has got a ultegra 8 Maybe it was 8,000, I'm not sure actually. Uh, except the crank, of course. The crank is different. We get to look carbon blades here. We got the stages 105 power meter there. And as a head unit, I have this new Brighton 750 that I'm trying out. So far, it is, it is quite good. It has this, this gorgeous over there. Anyway, maybe later I will show them. And the main question is I mounted my. Go for mount over there with the ZTTO this Chinese from AliExpress thing. So yeah, I hope that it's, it's gonna give a great POV footage, POV style footage. So let's let's uh, put it to the test. It made some noises. <laughs> I hope that it is working. I hope that you can see me. So let's go. first station is the, the National Stadium so here it is in my opinion it is it is quite beautiful I hope that it is uh, my voice is coming up in the video but yeah as I said it's a trial so yeah it is it is beautiful with this red and white colors and in the night it also flashes red and uh, and white so yeah, in my opinion it does it looks fantastic and yeah it is the location of it is also very nice it, it is next to a, a forest it has a beautiful structure, you can go there by bike. So yeah, that's station one, let's go to the next one. Okay, the, the second location is this where you were. Here we can see it. Wisła is one of the biggest if not the biggest, no, I think it's the second biggest river in Poland and it is absolutely fantastic, I really love it although today it looks quite dirty but generally it is, it is very good people do lots of activities here, especially in spring and, and summer you can see people chilling there uh, this is also Powiśl area in this location you can see the skyline over there, which soon we will be there it is, it is quite green that side we were there, it's the, the, the stadium that side is called Praga so yeah we went from Praga now we are going to the city center and that is the holy bridge if my polish is good enough to translate it like that Świętokrzyska is the original name so and here we also see the the mermaid which i will show in detail so here we have Sirenka or the mermaid it is considered to be the, the symbol of Warsaw there are also some some legends that says it's uh, or she helped to, to save the city um, it has more history it was a symbol of many things but because I'm not a historian uh, I'm not even from Poland so I'm not gonna get into that if you're interested you can just google her and take a deep look into that maybe yeah but I highly recommend you reading about that now our next station is city center <laughs> So our third point, I guess it's third or the fourth, so let's call it third, is the, the Solidarity Monument or in, in Monument 
hope that the sun is not too much. It symbolizes many things and most of it is because Americans helping uh, therefore we have uh, uh, this man sorry for that I forgot about his name but he's holding a paper which says um, maybe election or maybe the you can see four flags the European Union Ukraine USA and lastly we see the, the Poli Polish flag and here's how it looks like from behind and then we see Ronald Reagan's quote regarding uh, the wall in Berlin here there are lots of histories some details about it but yeah we don't have time to read it for today but for other days I recommend you to come and read it We have come to, in my opinion, one of the most important places, one of the most beautiful buildings in Warsaw. And some say also it is the, the symbol of Warsaw. Some people, especially some Polish people also, don't like this building. Since it's a communist history, uh, as far as I know, this has been gifted by Stalin uh, when they were under communist regime. Uh, once again, I'm a historian, I can be completely wrong, but this is what I heard. Anyway, you see a beautiful fountain and a beautiful big, big, big park here. I forgot about its name. And later, this is the building that I'm talking about. And this is called the Palace of Culture and Science. Palace of Culture and Science, yes, Culture Science. So here, it is, it is quite tall. It was the tallest building in Warsaw, but it has been recently surpassed by the Warsaw Tower which sadly we cannot see right now it should be somewhere there behind the tree yes it must be there behind the tree which I will show you later but the point I'm making is it is a beautiful building it has universities inside two universities a theater a cinema a museum and many other things which my university is located just right there so yeah, it is, it is a beautiful building, it's located in the heart of Warsaw, everything starts from here. I hope that you guys can hear me. Here we are again in the city center and I just wanted to show you the, the skyscrapers. Here we have the Warsaw Tower, so it is uh, supposedly the, the tallest building in Europe, not just in Warsaw. Here we have another, I don't know their names, but I just wanted to show you the, the scope of the city. When you are in the city center, you do feel quite small I am I'm a short man by myself but I'm sure that everyone no matter how tall they are when they are in a place like this such as Manhattan in New York or many of the capitals in Europe or in Western countries they do feel like that as how I feel right now if you look at the scale of the things we have the roads and the cars and these buildings are so tall yeah, but at the same time, it's a great feeling though. in the next spot I lost count currently so I don't know which one is this in the Wojenki Krolewski which 
translates into Royal Bath Park, hence the bath we see here. Of course there are many others. Here we see Jan Sobieski III, king of Poland and he was uh, also a, a commander which defeated, helped defeat the, the Turks over there in the Battle of Vienne and many more probably. Um, see a palace. I think it's the, the King's Summer Palace, if I'm not mistaken, but it is located in a beautiful garden, a forest maybe I can say, or a city park. So it's actually, it's up to you how you call it. I myself refer to it as like a city park, because it has many facilities, many places to sit, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite places to be, to chill out, and also that climb or that, dis that descent we have seen uh, now it's going to turn into a climb of course <laughs> so yeah it is it is quite fun and also a little dangerous because of the people because of the uncertainty of the level of the riders because this is not a mainly bike path it is open to public uh, so yeah it is also quite dangerous now it's time to climb it back up Well, I don't know about the time, but I pushed all out. Uh, my legs are shaking. I pushed, I think, 400 watts for about 40 seconds. My max is 650 for three seconds. Oh, but later I dripped so bad. Oh, sorry for the the chaos. I should have listened to Phil Gaiman. He says you need to pace it. You need to pace it. I didn't pace it. Oh, my camera died halfway. So I couldn't continue this this trip, this uh, B-log, uh, so to say. Uh, after the last place, I continued to do my training. I did about 46 kilometers. It was actually great. Um, I don't know how many miles does it make. I will put it up in the screen now. So yeah, uh, let me know if this is a good idea, if I should continue making this type of B-logs to, to you know, show Warsaw, etc. Or maybe this type of training vlogs. So yeah, let me know in the comments. At any rate, I will see you in the next video.